DJ Event Planner is a software designed to organize and plan all your events from your client's initial contact all the way through your after event feedback from your clients. Sending emails has easily become one of the most important forms of contact with your clients and staff. And with DJ Event Planner, you can set up any number of email templates that will then be at the ready to send at any time. Plus, you can schedule emails to be sent out automatically based on certain criteria so that you don't miss an important step in your email workflow. Hi everyone, this is Melissa from DJ Event Planner, and in this video, I'll go through the basic steps on how to create an email template, how to set up a scheduled email, how to manually send an email, and also where to find information on emails that you have sent within your DJ Event Planner account. To begin, let me show you around the email section included in the software. First, log into your DJ Event Planner account, then go to Setup, then Emails. When you first sign up for DJ Event Planner, you will find a number of email templates already included within your account. These templates were created by the DJ Event Planner staff and include some commonly used email information, such as this booking confirmation email template, which can be sent to the client after booking and includes an overview of their event and also their username and password to their client portal. We also have included this employee notification of booking template, which can be automatically sent to any staff members assigned to an event that reaches a booked status. At the top of the page, you will see buttons labeled Templates, Settings, and Help FAQ. You are currently on the Templates page. The Settings button will take you to the area where you can set up your outgoing mail server and your email signature. For information on how to set up your external outgoing mail server, please see the video tutorial labeled External Mail Servers, which can be found on our DJ Event Planner YouTube channel. And the Help FAQ section may help to answer some of your questions about email setup. To set up your company email signature under Master Administrator, Company Signature, click on Edit. There are two sections for your company signature. The top section is a plain text version and will be used in plain text email templates. The bottom section is where you can set up an HTML version of your email signature. You can use HTML coding in this section, as well as add an image, such as your company logo. This signature will be used on HTML-based email templates. To use your email signature, you will include the company signature merge tag in the body of the email template. Back on the templates page, you'll see four buttons labeled Events, Employees, meeting reminders, and meeting confirmations. These are the categories that you can choose when creating a new email template. Event-based email templates includes event-based merge tags that will auto-fill with event-related information. These templates can be scheduled to be sent automatically or can be sent manually from within an event or from the client's profile. The majority of your email templates will be created choosing the Events button. Employee-based email templates have their own merge tags list to choose from and can also be scheduled to be sent or can be sent manually to your employees from within their employee profile. Next, meeting reminders can be chosen from the Add Appointment screen when selecting the Client Appointment Reminder Email 1 and Email 2. These templates have their own unique merge tags as well that draw from the details of the appointment. And finally, the meeting confirmations are email templates that can be sent to the client from the Appointment Details page once the appointment has been saved. 
A confirmation merge tag should be included in the email template, which will generate a link for your clients to click on to confirm the meeting. Now, let's show you how to create an email template. While you're here under Setup, Emails, click on Add Template. You will see here that you can choose one of the four category options we've just mentioned. Event-based is the default option. Next, decide if you want to set up the template in plain text or HTML format. If you're familiar with HTML coding, choosing HTML will give you styling options that allow you to use HTML coding when creating the body of the email. Today, we're going to use the plain text option. First, give your email a client visible subject line. The email subject line is how the email will appear in your client's inbox. Merge tags are supported in the subject line, such as if you want to include the event type or event date. You can choose your merge tags by clicking on the merge tag button or merge tags wizard button below the body of the email. Next, write your email message exactly how you would like it to appear to your clients when sending this template. Include any merge tags to help you autofill information unique to each event you are sending the email from. If this email template is created to coordinate with an e-signature document, such as a contract, make sure you create the e-signature link to that document within the body of this email by clicking on the e-signature documents link button at the bottom and choosing the correct document from the drop-down menu. For more information on creating e-signature documents, please see our e-signature video tutorial, which can be found on the DJ Event Planner YouTube channel. Once you are satisfied with the contents of the email, next click on the Settings tab. Here you will give your email template a display name. This is the name that is visible to you and to your staff in the Send Email drop-down list. You can also choose to add this email template to a category to organize your templates depending on your workflow. The next section, labeled Autofill Settings, are for manually sent emails. If this email is to be sent to the client only, choose Client in the Send To option. If it is meant to go out to only assigned staff members, choose Employees. You can choose any or all of the options in the Send To option. This section determines which email address will be auto-filled when emailing this template. You can also choose to send to a specific email address in this section and choose to include your email signature. You can also attach one of your document templates to this email template by clicking the drop-down menu under Attachment Settings. Please note, the settings on this tab do not affect scheduled emails. This section is set up for manually sent emails only. To schedule this email to be sent automatically, click on the Scheduling tab. On this tab, you can set when you would like to send this particular template, such as based on so many days before or after a particular date option. Keep in mind if you choose an event-related date, such as initial contact date or date booked, that date must be filled in under the Bookings tab within the event in order for this email to be triggered. In the Event Parameters section, you can determine which event types and event status you would like the email to be triggered to send. If you want to limit the scheduled email to certain packages or add-ons, you would choose them in this section. 
And if this email template is set up for payment reminders, you can schedule it based by payment. Next, choose who you want the template to be sent from. And in the Send To section, choose who would receive this email template once it's triggered by the chosen event parameters. If you choose to have this email sent to an employee based on a certain role, make sure you put a check in front of all assigned employees, then fill out the employee role filter, making sure to use exact wording for the role. And you can also send this to a specific email address. Make sure to enable this scheduled email section and then save. The visibility tab allows you to select settings that will affect if the template will be visible on administrator and salespeople email template drop-down lists when they are sending an email manually. You can also set this email template to be visible to all employees including basic level employees. And finally, under Other Settings, you can choose this template to be a reply template on your Request for Information website tool. Make sure to save your changes and your newly created email template is now available to be sent through an event. Next, Let's go to an event in your system and we will walk through how to manually send emails from within that event. On the Event Details page, click on the Email tab. In this section, you will see the Send Email heading with a drop-down menu. Click on that drop-down menu and you will see all of the email templates that are created in your account. You will also see that you have the option to choose a blank or blank HTML email. Choosing these options are helpful if you plan to send a quick custom email to your client or if you want to attach a document or upload a file to the email. If you choose an email template that has been previously made in your account, such as this booking confirmation template, you will see that the To section is auto-filled with the email address of the recipient. In this case, this template was set up to go to the client. If you choose this employee notification of booking email, it will auto-fill to be sent to the employee. Once you click on an email template, you will be able to preview the email and can make changes as needed. Those changes are unique to this email and will not change the saved email template. Once finished, then send the email. Once you have sent the email, you will notice it will appear in the Sent Email section located here. Anytime you manually send an email to the client through an event, that email will be displayed here along with the date it was sent. Emails that are sent to the staff members assigned to the event will not be displayed here. You can see those by going to Main Menu, Employees, Choose Your Employee, Full View, then Emails tab. Back on the Event Details page, if you have any scheduled emails set to go out for this event, you will see them at the bottom of the Email tab page under the heading Scheduled Emails. This will show you which of your email templates are scheduled to go out and on what date. If the scheduled email does not send, you will see it as missed in this section. You will have the choice to send it manually at that time by clicking on the Send Now option. If the scheduled email sends as expected, you will see it appear as sent. Another area where you can see your scheduled emails that are to be sent is under Reports, Scheduled Emails. This page will show you today's scheduled emails and if they were sent successfully, if they were missed, 
or if there was an unknown error. You can look back to see any previous day's scheduled emails, and you can also look ahead to see what scheduled emails you have coming up. And finally, the Mail tab on the left-hand navigation menu will take you to a page where you can compose an email, view your sent emails, and view your inbox messages. Anytime an email is sent from within your account, you can find when and what time the email was sent by clicking on the View Sent Emails button on this page. And those are the basics of emails within DJ Event Planner. Much of the setup is based on your own workflow, but one thing about DJ Event Planner is that it is customizable to every business. By taking a little bit of time, you can get your emails set up and customized to let the software handle much of the everyday email workflow for you. If you are seeing this video but have not yet signed up for our 30-day free trial, please do so at djeventplanner.com.